Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about why some billionaires, professionals, as well as investors believe Tesla's TSLA share price could drop below $100 per share and stay there for almost an entire year. For more information on Tesla stock or more videos on this company, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. In today's video, we will be dissecting three separate articles. The first one is why Tesla stock leads to a big rally in the whole electric vehicle sector. So essentially, the TSLA share price has increased as of late, and it has made other electric vehicle companies rally as well. After that, we'll be analyzing an article why legendary investor Bill Miller is actually shorting Tesla and betting against them. Therefore, he believes the TSLA share price of Tesla will be dropping here specifically specifically dropping below $100 per share in the short term. So we'll be going over his evidence for that, and of course I'll add my opinion on if I agree or disagree very directly with him. Then lastly, we will be discussing why Warren Buffett isn't buying Tesla hand over fist right now, considering that they are trading for a very good discount compared to what they were trading at last year. So go ahead and comment your thoughts down below about where you think the TSLA share price is headed during the short term as well as the long term. Smash the like button if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's dive right in. Right now, Tesla's share price is trading for $122, while professionals believe this company should be worth anywhere between $222 and $436 over the next 12 months. This would lead us to believe that the company is somewhat undervalued right now based on their future projections. If you're not familiar, with this company, this is an electric vehicle company that is the clear market leader in both first mover advantage, the technological advantage, as well as overall brand awareness. As of late, the TSLA share price has jumped by around 7.55%, and this has caused other electric vehicle companies to rally as well, or even any type of company that's slightly related to electric vehicles. As you can see on screen, a multitude of various companies related to the EV market has been increasing as of late due to Tesla leading that way. The rally has been generating a lot of optimism in the market, particularly over the economic reopening over in China. China, which is phenomenal for electric vehicle companies. On top of that, investors are very excited because the Federal Reserve are leaning on the fact that they may adjust and moderate their overall interest rate hikes to a lower interest rate hike because it seems that inflation is somewhat becoming slightly moderated as of right now, which means that we could reach the terminal rate sooner than expected. Essentially, this means that the Federal Reserve will not increase the interest rate as much as they thought they had to, which is good for overall investors as as well as the stock market to get inflation under control. Because essentially, we do not want high interest rates or high inflation, we want both of those to be pretty low, which is going to cause the stock market to rally. So overall, this is very good news for electric vehicle companies, specifically Tesla, as well as the market in general. The next story we have is we're going to investigate why billionaire Bill Miller is betting against Tesla. So let's see what he says. Bill Miller, who is a legendary investor of the Miller Value Funds, is actually shorting a position in Tesla. So essentially, he's betting that the TSLA share price will continuously fall down in price well below $100 per share, and by his own account, probably even lower, considering that he believes the valuation of this company is way too high. However, he's not an overall bear in this current environment because he has increased his overall allocation and bought more Amazon shares. A few videos ago, I actually did an analysis about why I have recently bought up more Amazon and Google, but between Amazon and Google, I like Google better than Amazon. However, I own a lot of both of those particular companies, so I completely understand why he's buying more Amazon just as I did. However, Bill Miller told the CNBC that he's shorting Tesla because he says, and I quote, I just don't think it's worth more than the top five automakers in the world combined. If you're not already aware, Tesla as a company is worth more than five of the largest automakers by market cap all put together, which means Tesla is trading at a very high valuation compared to their peers which is not a good sign. 
Also, he highlights that competition for Tesla is increasing specifically in the United States, especially when it comes to more luxury vehicles. Tesla's shares have already fallen by around 70% as of late, and this particular investor believes that it could fall even further. Bears right now are saying that it's just a car company and it's worth way too high. However, I would fire back here, and clearly Tesla is a technology company. They are not just an electric vehicle company, considering that they also are very involved with energy generation as well as energy storage. So clearly they are more than just an electric vehicle company, but clearly they shouldn't be worth as much as the top five auto manufacturers in the entire world. And on top of that, Tesla also is still selling at around five times its estimated 2022 revenue, which is rather expensive for a price to sales ratio or a PS multiple. The author goes on to say that there are better options than Tesla from a value perspective on the market right now, such as NIO, ticker symbol NIO, XPeng, ticker symbol XPEV, and Li Auto, ticker symbol LI, as well as a crowd favorite that not many people talk about, which is BYD, ticker symbol BYDDY, and BYDDF. These are all Chinese electric vehicle companies that are trading at a much more attractive valuation than Tesla. However, I still think that Tesla is technically better than these other companies, considering that most of these are newer startup companies besides BYD. I personally own a BYD as well as NEO and a little bit of Li Auto and Xpeng, but majority I have for my electric vehicles BYD and Tesla as my main forerunners. However, this particular billionaire named Bill Miller admits that he did miss Tesla on the way up and he does wish that he invested into it, but he is determined to not miss out on Tesla on their way back down considering that he believes they are overvalued right now and that's why he thinks the share price is going to fall even lower. However, the author of this article correctly points out that this comment cuts both ways of course, considering that Miller was already wrong in determining if Tesla was going to increase in price originally, which they definitely did and he clearly missed the boat, therefore he could be wrong about Tesla again. But that's complete speculation, and just because you were wrong once doesn't mean you're going to be wrong again. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about where you think Tesla is headed in the future. Lastly, we're going to wrap up this video talking about why Warren Buffett hasn't bought Tesla stock as of right now. Tesla is still the EV pioneer and market leader in the electric vehicle space. However, Warren Buffett still hasn't bought into this company. So we're going to discuss why he hasn't done that. If you're not familiar with Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors to have ever invested in the history of the stock market. He is an absolute guru when it comes to investing into phenomenal companies. So it's interesting why he hasn't yet invested into Tesla. The CEO, Elon Musk, thinks that the company can grow their deliveries for their electric vehicles at an annual 50% rate, which is insane. Tesla now also boasts that it has the highest operating margin in the entire auto industry, which is absolutely extremely bullish and positive for investors. So the future of this electric vehicle company does seem to be right. However, Tesla's share price has dropped pretty dramatically, as you can see on screen here from this chart. So why hasn't an investor such as Warren Buffett bought into Tesla as of right now, considering that they are substantially cheaper than what they were trading at either last year or the beginning of the year. Now, in my personal opinion, I do think that Tesla is overvalued, but based on their future valuation, I think now could be a good time to buy the company. However, I personally will hold out until Tesla drops below $100 per share, considering that I'm already content with my average cost basis for this particular company. It would not be worth me buying more Tesla right now because I would be taking on unnecessary risk, but if the stock price does drop below $100 per share, that's when I'm going to nibble at this company to lower my overall average cost basis. Some investors think that Warren Buffett hasn't bought into Tesla yet because it's not in his overall domain or wheelhouse. He is not comfortable investing into this particular type of company. However, I would say that I don't follow that rationality in the sense of Warren Buffett has already demonstrated that this type of technology is in his wheelhouse and he does understand 
understand it because he owns around 14.9% of the Chinese EV company, which also sells regular automotives called BYD, which we briefly touched on earlier, and he also owns around 3.5% of General Motors. So to say that Warren Buffett doesn't really understand this industry and that's why he hasn't bought into Tesla because he's not comfortable with it or doesn't understand it enough, I think it does not hold any water because he already owns other automakers such as BYD over in China as well as General Motors. So what is the most likely culprit for Warren Buffett refusing to buy Tesla stock? Well, in my personal opinion, as well as the author of this article, believes that it's the valuation of Tesla. Warren Buffett is more of a value investor. He's not necessarily a growth investor. He buys companies that are undervalued and then he buys into them. So when that company returns to its true value, he makes a lot of money. And as of right now, Tesla is currently trading at around 24 times their overall earnings. However, to balance this, I'd also want to point out to investors that their price to earnings growth ratio or their peg ratio is just 1.08. And I am very happy about that because the peg ratio essentially essentially takes into consideration the future growth earnings of the company and that's what the company is going to be worth once that time comes. So yes, the company in my opinion is a very attractive buying opportunity, but like I said, I personally will wait for the company to drop below $100 per share and if it doesn't then it's no skin off my back because I already have a comfortable position in this particular company. By no means is Tesla a cheap company to buy right now considering that I agree with Warren Buffett also not investing into this company because because he also thinks that the company is overvalued. However, if you are a growth investor looking for a forward valuation of what this company could be worth sometime in the future, then right now could lead to a good buying opportunity for you. But as of right now, Tesla has not passed the test for them to be bought up by Warren Buffett, mainly due to Elon Musk not necessarily fitting the profile of the type of CEO Warren Buffett tends to prefer. Some people think that there's beef between Elon Musk and Warren Buffett, but honestly, I think that is completely overblown. I really don't think they have much to say about each other, let alone anything negative. So I think that's just the media trying to pick a fight between these two absolute giants when there's really nothing there. I also like how this author highlights this and I quote, he says, Warren Buffett once said, the trick in investing is just to sit there and watch pitch after pitch go by and wait for the right one in your sweet spot. And if people are yelling, swing you bum, ignore them. Essentially, what this quote implies is that it's much better to wait for a company that you are comfortable investing in once they fall down to a very good valuation or a cheaper valuation, which ultimately allows you to get more upside in the company overall, rather than just listening to everybody else and bandwagoning while they say, buy now, just ignore them. This is normally how I see many growth investors get burned on companies because they jump in too early and then they overexpose themselves more than a 5% allocation and then they get stuck holding the bag. Essentially, they're holding a very big loss because A, they jumped in too early, and B, they invested too much and over-allocated themselves to that particular company. So in the meantime, Warren Buffett is just set to wait, and potentially, if the TSLA share price drops low enough to where Buffett believes this is a good company to invest into, then he indeed could possibly invest. So I would love to hear your thoughts down below about what you think of billionaire Bill Miller shorting Tesla shares, Warren Buffett not buying the company, Company, me buying the company only if it drops below $100 per share and what you plan to do with this company overall and if you plan to buy more. Remember to go and obliterate that like button right now, especially for more bullish positive Tesla videos. Go ahead and subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.